guys and welcome back to my channel thank you for being here so if you watched my video from last weekend uh, the one that I did for the color art event I was using a new technique of painting a canvas with color art primary elements before laying down your base coat now the reason I did that is because primary elements are so concentrated with color that they will absorb into the paint that's put on top of it. Um, I did discover this months ago when I poured over a couple of canvases that had been previously poured with primary elements. And the next day I was so amazed at how the primary elements affected the background color of my pour as you can see in these two pieces. They were both poured with a white pearl base and look how the color from the pigments underneath changed the look so drastically. So let's talk just a little bit about color art and what makes primary elements so different from other products that are on the market. Primary elements are a dried color system Let's take, for example, the color Ultramarine. Now this color was derived from a bright blue metamorphic rock called Lapis Lazuli, or Lapis for short, that's what we've heard it called. This is actually what the rock looks like. Now can you see that Ultramarine color? So the question is, how does this rock end up as a color in our paintings? Well, very simply, it starts out being mined from the earth. It is then ground into powder, giving us what's called pure color. This pure color is the foundation for all of the primary elements that color art makes. They are bound with micas um, and or minerals. And when it's all said and done, you're opening a jar of highly pigmented and sparkly pure color. Primary elements are the only dried color system on the market, and this is what makes them so concentrated and vibrant. Now the fact that they will melt or um, absorb into your paint that is poured on top of them, this opens up a whole new dimension of background effects for your acrylic pores. And the fact that they're made from actual pure color and not just mica powder with colorants means that you can put your white lab coat on and play mad scientist while experimenting and mixing different colors together just like you do regular tube paints, thereby creating a limitless combination of custom colors all in your pigments. This piece was a commission from my sweet, beautiful friend, Janice, and she wanted something with some warm earth tones with some splashes of blue. So let's see what we can create for her.
honestly thought I was going to leave this piece alone. Just pour it, tilt it, and let it be whatever it turned out to be. Um, I just couldn't do it, guys. I couldn't do it. There was, uh, there was a big area on the bottom of the rose gold right there, and I didn't like it. I don't like large blocks of solid color. I like the color to be blended. Um, so I had already taken the piece down, put it in the drying area. I'd taken my camera down, um, and I was just lazy and didn't put it back. So I made all of the modifications that made me feel better about the piece. And here it is. I am much, much, much happier with the finished result. I went back in actually after it was dried as well and did a little brush work, added some uh, primary elements in different areas just to uh, change the shading on some of the pearls, give them a little more depth, and um, took a picture of it, sent it to Janice, and she was absolutely thrilled, which was a big pew on me. That's always the important thing is making sure that your client is happy. Another important thing is thanking your audience for being there for you. And I always appreciate you guys being here. I do hope you'll consider joining my Patreon account. I have already put a video on there showing how I mix my pigments for regular pours. Uh, there is a creation video of this piece that will not go on YouTube, but my patrons got to see it. I give them sneak peeks of pieces that I'm working on that I hope will dry well. We're going to have challenges, prizes. It's going to be a blast. So please consider doing that. All of the information is in the description. Quick shout outs to my patrons, Kathleen, Heather, Barbie, Janice, and Anna. Love you guys. Have a great weekend and I'll see you soon.